uh, in the previous video we discussed about introduction about your second lesson what is that cell the basic unit of life today we are going to the new topic that is discovery of the cell who discovered the cell and how we are going to discuss about everything about the cell okay here whenever we talk about the history of the cell it is very important to talk about a scientist named as robert hook who is he robert hook he is the scientist first time for the first time he observed the cell in the thin slices of cork plant okay thin size slices of cork plant the cork is also called as oak tree the oak tree in the oak tree he observed he cut the stem of the oak tree into thin thin slices and he observed that slices under microscope which was prepared by himself okay he only prepared a microscope by using that he observed the cells for the first time okay in the year 1665 in the year 1665 a scientist named as robert hook robert hook what he observed he observed the cells and where did he observe the cell in the thin slices of a cork in the thin slices of oak tree he observed the cell for the first time see here children here i draw the microscope which was prepared by robert hook okay himself he prepared a handmade microscope for this microscope he used different materials see here children what are the different materials see this one is focusing screw this one is focusing screw and this one is called as objective this one is objective and this part we are calling as eyepiece what is this eyepiece and this huge part we are calling as barrel what is this barrel and he also made a stand which is having water flask and oil lamp to focus the slide he used this two what are that oil lamp and water flask to reflect the specimen and to increase to in order to magnify the specimen he used this stand okay and by the help of this microscope he observed the cell for the first time okay while he is observing the cell under microscope he find many empty spaces are present inside the um, cork okay uh, like this which are looking like a, a hexagonal box like structure empty room room like structure box like structure first time he observed they just appears in hexagonal shape and they also resembles the the structure of the cell it just resembles the honeycomb whenever we observe the honeycomb we also find a, a small small empty room like structures in the same manner he also observed a hexagonal empty rooms inside the slice of the cork and he just resemble the structure of this cork with a honeycomb and he whenever he see this empty rooms he gave by seeing this he gave the name as cell who gave the name cell robert hook and the cell is a latin word in latin cell means little room cell means little room why he gave only cell because it just looks like a empty box a hexagonal empty box that's why he called that empty room as cell by using a latin word cell is actually a latin word the meaning of cell is little room okay is it clear little room and um, by his experiments and uh, by the observation of a uh, cell he uh, by all his examinations on cell become that was became one of the milestone in the history of the science 
Before the rubber hook, many scientists they observed, but they failed to explain about the cell. Uh, for the first time, he observed the cell in this uh, bark and stem of a oak plant, and this. Uh, experiment this observation made Robert Hooke experiments as one of the milestone in the entire science history what is the milestone of science history the experiments the observations of Robert Hooke after Robert Hooke many scientists they started investigation on cells and they find many and many things in the cell and different organelles present in the cells everything they find many in a lot of information about cell that's why we we mm, treating the robert hook uh, experiments as one of the milestone in the history of the science then um, as like robert hook we people also capable to observe the hexagonal structures Actually, here he observed dead cell, not a living cell. Because here he observed the bark of the oak tree. And that one is the dead cell. If we started examining dead cell uh, and a living cell, are you thinking is there any similarity between dead cell and living cell? Is there any similarity? After observing both dead cell and living cell, we may get clarity. Then, first we are going to discuss about observation of matchstick. As it is difficult to get a oak tree bark, in place of, instead of taking or oak tree bark, we people are taking a matchstick. Because it is easily available in everyone's home. But the bark of a oak tree, it is very difficult to get it. That's why instead of this uh, card, we are taking a matchstick. After taking the matchstick, just place the stick of the uh, this matchstick in water about half an hour. Just soak it in a small container about half an hour. And try to make the matchstick into a very thin sections by the help of a sharp blade you people are able to cut the matchstick into thin slices and now after half an hour if we mm, try to cut the matchstick then we are able to get the matchstick very easily thin slices of matchsticks very easily now place the thin slice of matchstick on a watch glass on a watch glass and now place a drop of glycerin after that you people remove this and place it on a slide what is this slide a transparent glass a rectangular shaped one is called as slide after taking this place the slice, thin slice of the matchstick here and drop a drop of water on this specimen. Here, what is a specimen? You have to know. The object, what you have interest to observe. Now, what we are observing? Matchstick. Thin slice of a matchstick. If you have interest to observe a leaf, then the leaf is your specimen. The object what you have interest to observe under a microscope is called a specimen. Okay, now this one is the specimen. On the specimen what I placed? A drop of water. Now cover that specimen with a cover slip. It is also a glassy transparent uh, cup, small cup shaped uh, thing. We just have to place on it. While we are placing a cover slip, it is very very important. We should not give any chance for the entry of air bubbles into this specimen. Wherever the air bubble enter, it won't give the clear vision of the specimen. That's why while we are placing the cover slip, it is must and should. We have to take care about the uh, specimen. After that, 
uh, if you have any extra water um, beside of the specimen we just have to uh, wipe by taking a blotting paper now place this slide under the microscope by adjusting the eyepiece and everything focusing light we have to observe the matchstick under microscope then after observing we people are able to get the same structure which resembles the cells in the cork okay because the matchstick cell is also a dead cell and the cork section what we a rubber hook took it is also a dead one that's why we may get the similar structure as like a rubber hook are we able to uh, prepare a slide by using a living cell is it possible if it is possible how how we can prepare how we are able to observe a living cell under microscope are we able to get a clear cut vision by, while we are seeing a living cell everything we will discuss in the next session i think you understand about today's class history of a cell or a discovery of cell here you have to remember the scientist robert hook in which year he discovered the cell in the year 1665 in what variety of plant he discovered in oak tree in oak tree or cork plant he discovered the cell and uh, it became one of the milestone in the history of the science okay i will meet you soon in the next video thank you for watching